now we're going to be comparing the two books revelation chapter 6 matthew chapter 24 let's see what is the first thing jesus told them is the first sign of his coming the first sign he gave matthew 24 verse 4 and jesus answered and said unto them take heed that no man deceive you verse 5 for many shall come in my name saying i am christ and shall deceive many okay so deception is the first sign of the end times increase in deception religious deception religious corruption so not all churches will be real not all the men you see that are calling themselves men of god are real men of god and one day i'm going to be doing the teaching here seven ways to discern between the true and a fake man of minister and between a real church and a fake church because they are revealed so deception is the first sign so when you hear about for some churches or some misbehavior some pastors misbehaving that is prophecy is going to happen but it doesn't mean you should go and allow yourself to be deceived that's why you need to know this thing why with deception be part of the sign because we are counting down to the end of the age satan is going to do everything to fool more people so because if you can be deceived you can be destroyed so it can lead more people to hell he is fighting his last battle so the devil will get involved in the business of religion go to revelation chapter 6 verse 1 when jesus now started opening the seal when he opened the first seal watch what you will see yes and i saw when the lamp opened one of the seals and i heard as it were the noise of thunder one of the four beasts saying come and see and i saw and behold a white horse and he that sat on him had a bow and a crown was given unto him he went forth conquering and to conquer this is the spirit driving religious deception the first four seals once they were open there were four horsemen of the apocalypse four horsemen and these horses fly in the air and the people riding it were given different assignments the first horse was a white horse do you know why this guy is riding a white horse he's trying to fake jesus when jesus is going to return if you go to read it in revelation chapter 19 he's going to be riding on a white horse to return so we're going to have false christ false prophet false ministry they will imitate what the church is they imitate christian but it's not it some of them it have pure demonic activities many years ago it's easy to differentiate a native doctor or cult they stayed within their boundaries native doctors stayed within the body you go to the bush to see them some of the native doctors have repackaged now they are now doing in form of religion they think that's where the thing gets more customers any man of god is telling you will come will bury this for you will give you this hang this one this one put this one where did you see jesus giving people any of those things what is the antidote to deception two things number one knowledge of the word of god you have to know the scriptures you have to number two is discernment of the holy spirit so there are two things one is the holy scriptures you have to put it inside you it won't save you remaining in the book it's when you put this software inside you it can dictate anything that is fake second is being filled with the holy spirit but as you have a prayer life the holy spirit inside you will protect you from deception the bible said oh first john chapter four it was talking about the coming of the antichrist and after talking about him you heard that the antichrist will come maybe i should read it for you first john chapter four um, from verse two from verse three every spirit that confesses not that jesus is coming in the flesh is not of god this is the spirit of the antichrist whereof you heard that is coming even now is already in the world this image this first rider 
is the spirit of antichrist that will go and prepare the world for him to show up and the first thing he uses is deception he said even now it's already in the world but look at what he said in verse 4 but he said ye are of god little children and you have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world he is addressing antichrist and the deception of the last days when he reminded us that we have the greater one inside us if you are born again you have to load the scripture you have to know why is deception prospering now because there is no generation that is spiritually illiterate like this generation they don't study their bible anymore they don't i have never met a generation of christians that are as spiritually lazy as this one just go to church once a week whatever you put in their mouth they eat even it doesn't matter if you like let it be me let it be any other but when they finish you go back check your bible is this thing true it's not it cannot be authenticated by the scripture carry all those things throw it into the trash can so deception deception re, corruption of religion interference and then truth will start falling to the ground a lot of ministers are no more preaching the truth so jesus revealed with his first seal the spirit that will undertake that assignment he was the one trying to imitate jesus dressing like a white horse they are even prophecy teachers when they see that they think this might be jesus which jesus if you read further matthew 24 he said many will come in my name many will claim i'm christ many will, and deceive many 